Good morning, everybody. It is the 17th of March, and it's about uh, almost 3 o'clock. We're not working on the camper today. My poor little guy, he woke up with 104 fever. So a little bit of um, acetaminophen took care of that. He's feeling a lot better. He's just hanging out in house, uh, building supercross tracks on this video game we got. I got a big project to accomplish with my older brother tomorrow. He just moved to Pahrump and um, and he picked up a F-350 four-wheel drive crew cab long bed, really cheap, not running. So we're going to tow it from Yucca Valley back to his house tomorrow morning, and that should be kind of fun. We're going to tow it on a 16-foot flatbed trailer where we have to kind of Mickey Mouse some stuff to make it work. I'm going to tow it with my Tahoe. It's set up for towing. should be fine. So uh, we're going to put this four-door long bed truck with an 8-inch lift and 37s on this trailer. It's 16.3 inches long. Uh, it's 90 inches inside rail to inside rail. And then it's 89 inches inside here. You can drive up over these suckers. So that shouldn't be a problem. The problem is going to be the bed of the truck is going to hang past here. So we're going to have to drop this and then like winch it back up with some come alongs and put a couple of those used tires in between the back of the truck and this thing and make sure this thing's solid. This is 300 pounds. So I'm just going to go around, check the wheel bearings, check all the air pressures. I'm going to fix some of these holes uh, in the trailer and just, you know, do something nice for them as well as make it a little uh, better for us tomorrow morning. Uh-oh, 36. That's not good. Better check this one in the morning. Sunday morning and uh, the trailer's ready got it all fixed up put a spare tire together brought some junk tires to squeeze in between places I know this is only a 1500 series Tahoe got all the little extras just in case but it, this thing's set up for towing I've towed over 8,000 pounds with no problem uh, it's chipped it's geared uh, it's got extra stuff heavy springs so see if we can make this work all right so we're gonna try to get that beast on this trailer this morning let's go check it out all right got a smoking deal for the price of those wheels, he's going to get this truck. we got to tow it to Perump from Yucca Valley. So here we go. Let's try to load her up. Well, she's a runner. They were having trouble getting this thing to start, and basically it was out of gas. My brother was communicating with the, the owner here to check this fuel pump, check that relay, check that circuit, and... When it all came down to it, it was out of gas. And it's got a miss, but it's it's running. So she runs a little rough, but we're not sure if it's tune-up stuff or motor stuff. But um, the motor's got a lot of new stuff on it. Someone did the manifold, which these Ford 460s, uh, they, they always have massive exhaust leaks at the manifold, and someone redid all that with brand new stuff. So we're thinking the motor is probably fine. And we're looking at tune-up stuff or fuel stuff because it runs a little rough, but it did drive around the block. So we are going to get that sucker up here. 
So we could just ram this thing up on here, right? This truck. But what I did is I preloaded the trailer. I pumped this up to take the weight off the tongue so that the uh, Tahoe doesn't do a wheelie or a reverse wheelie, right? Truck drives up, makes the trailer do a wheelie, which pulls the rear bumper up on the Tahoe. So I got jack stands here carrying the weight. And then of course I jacked this up a little bit to put more pressure on the back. So the trailer is a solid piece when we put the truck on here, nice and slow. And then we'll adjust the weight once we take everything out from underneath and we'll get it to be a perfect tongue weight. So we're not killing my truck here. It looks sketchy. We got her loaded up. And I took all of the stuff that was in the back of my Tahoe. And I put it to the back of the trailer, all the weight. And we put more stuff in the bed. Because it is a little tongue heavy on the front, I'll show you. It actually looks so we made the trip from Yucca Valley to Lucerne. We're gassing up. And uh, it tows good. A little bit of wag if you go too fast, but we're just going to putt it all the way to Pahrump. Everything stayed tight. Control. Yep. Control. Yes, way control. control. <laughs> Everything stayed tight. Once again, threw all the weight that we could towards the back to lighten the tongue a little bit. And then we, Mickey Mouse, cinched up this 300 pound ramp gate, put the tire in the middle. So she's going good, guys. Um, it's about one o'clock, halfway through, and uh, we're gonna scoot on out of here and head to Pahrump. All right, so <clears throat> we made it all the way to Pahrump from Yucca Valley, five and a half hours. And uh, it did good, you know? I uh, kept it in low gear, revved it out use little fuel to go up these hills so I slowed down and, and let, let the gears do the work but I did get a check engine light coming up a really steep grade and I wasn't on the gas I was in uh, second gear uh, like like maybe 25 percent throttle and I got a check engine light I'm guessing that's probably going to be an O2 sensor and then um, another long steep grade I got a traction control light so I'm thinking maybe we got hot in the transmission, so I'm gonna read those codes tomorrow. But I've never had that happen with this vehicle, so we're gonna have to see what's going on there. Definitely overloaded, but we made it. The big monster truck being towed by the little 1500 series. So leave your comments, tell me how dumb I am. <laughs> but we made it. Let's check it out, way. Make sure everything's still tight. And that's my bro's house, right there. Just bought this place.
Yeah, baby. Twenty-five hundred bucks, not bad. Project, <laughs> project tow rig. Yep. So we made it. Thanks for watching. It's been an interesting day. Neither of us had any sleep last night, so we are tired. And uh, we are gonna park this bad boy, go get some dinner, and head back to Cern, to Apple Valley, where I live, and where his his car is. We drove down this morning at four o'clock. Nice.